We are live in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back. Mm. How are we doing, everybody? I'm doing this, good. I can do this every day. You want to? Yeah, I I, th- I was thinking we should do a daily podcast. Daily podcast. Each one, two hours long. It's like the toast. The toast does it. We could do it. They do that? I think so. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wow. Thursday? Wow. Yeah. How can you talk? And they, and they do it, uh, well, when her and Jackie are, like Jackie lives in Florida. She lives in New York. They do it like on Zoom and stuff, but it's so crystal clear. Like there's no delay at all. I can't, like when I listen to it, I can't believe that they're like not in the same room. That's crazy. I can't even FaceTime. I get <laughs> yeah. the delay and it's just like, off. Are you, are you, I, you go first. Yeah, yeah, oh, we tried it. It was terrible, remember? Yeah, I didn't like it. Was, was editing that like a nightmare? Har- a horror. <laughs> a horror. Forget it. <laughs> terrible, Try terrible. it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to rock and roll. You guys ready to rock and roll? Yeah, let's just hop into it. Let's boogie. I, I, I actually, love hopping. <laughs> I, I'm really excited about today because there's a few things that I'm excited to talk no, about. No, oh, can't you, wait to cover. You've been jittery this entire morning. I, know. I, I can't wait to hear. I'm feeling good. Holy hell! All right, baby, let's just jump into it. Let's, let's jump, jump right uh. into it. It's, it's comic time, baby. Yeah. Welcome back to Zany Heath. Unfiltered. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And we are excited to be <laughs> excited excited to be here. <laughs> Quick little Olympic update. I'm sure you guys have seen more going on and stuff. Yes, I have not actually said. Ever since we talked about it, it looked oh, really? Yeah, okay. I don't. I can't believe anymore. there's still more events. Like <laughs> I thought, like we have ran out of all of them, but there's still Crazy. more and more just and more keeps going. Is, yeah. dr- is it drama? Is no, it- not drama. It's just so funny. And I asked Mariah if she heard about it because I was going to tell you on the podcast, but she like she already knew about it. And I just think it's so cool. So there's an Italian gymnast, right? Yes, and. She got a sponsorship, and all of her sponsorship pictures are so perfect, and the sponsor is Parmesan cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's great. It. Just Parmigiano Reggiana, and it's literally all of her pictures are with this giant cheese is it a, wheel. Is it, is it a specific... You know how you had pork? Yeah. <laughs> it's Parmesan. Wow, incredible. And Just she's posing with like big blocks of big cheese. Big wheels of cheese. That it's- should be me. <laughs> <laughs> that should be us. Oh, hell yeah. Good for her. Isn't that crazy though? That's an awesome brand deal. Damn, you know where I was. Zane would be uh-huh. just posing with a massive vape. <laughs> 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 just, just, just push out, just push out the lifestyle. Love it. Parmesan. I can't wait to see blend. more. Like, wh- are they going to do like a video? Is it like what's? I, I want to see a big campaign, and I know they already did pictures, but I want to see like a really fun. Do you know that trend where people have been like submitting videos of like sad to say I didn't make the Olympic yeah. gymnastics yeah. Love that trend. and it's them at like a uh, tournament swimming and diving and especially gymnastics, and it's like really bad but it's not there's some where it's like it looks like they are a good gymnast and they had a terrible fall but then some i'm like why are you on the team (laughs) and there's so many of them but but you have to start somewhere you know i just want to know the story behind every single clip i just want to reach out to all of them and be like or the girl that did like that uh, that dive and she just didn't never move (laughs) (laughs) she ran went and did not no i saw one where this girl was on the high dive and she (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> she, she, she was facing forward and I don't know if she was supposed to do a gainer but she went to the edge and just did a backflip on the board oh, no. <laughs> like she went away from the pool and everyone's like whoo <laughs> I wonder if I can find it oh uh. God, we should we should all go to like a pool like that and see who gets the best. Time. I have a diving board. If we want to go, we we'll no, just go he, to my backyard. I want to like the, you, wait, go go to like the. Oh, you want to do like a high dive? Yeah, That's yeah. Too yeah. much risk. Can you do a gainer? My brother like is the king of gainers. He did it like my whole childhood, and I've always wanted to. I tried one time. And I was like, that's it. I'm not going to try it. Like, it's I, scary. What's, it's, a, what's a gainer? You run forward, you jump, and throw a backflip. No, 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 no way. That yeah. was so you're facing, you're facing front, but you have to do a backflip facing front. Okay. And it has to, 
you have to throw yourself forwards at the same time so that you flip into the water, if that makes sense. That hurts my neck just oh. thinking about that. Yeah, you have to have so much it's, guts to it's like- It's one of those moves where you have to run and jump forward, but to get the momentum to go back, most people just go like this and just like get stuck because <laughs> you're like trying to go. Yeah. <laughs> the one you sent me with the belly flop. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so high. She started off so high and couldn't move and in another position. Some Mac. <laughs> That like that ruins your day, right? Oh. When you land, when yeah. To, when you land Awful, from that high dude. on your stomach. I know we talked about the um, the synchronized swimming. Yes, but the underwater camera changes everything. A hundred percent, especially Seeing also their, the clear. Uh, their micro movements is it's underwater. Their hands are like the like it's very, to get so precise to like rise up a little bit upside down for your feet to go up like that. It's just like this little tiny. And making sure everyone's yeah. on sync. Nobody, it takes one person to be like, Psah. yeah. If, <laughs> 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 they, uh, the US team, did you see they moonwalked upside down? Oh no. no yes, that was the coolest thing I've seen and they in were, so they long. They were doing it to like Michael Jackson and that's, they went upside down and they like moonwalked with their all their feet wow. in the air. It was really that's badass. Terrible. But you know, you know when it, they first implemented like underwater because they they have see-through cameras yeah. or, uh like underwater cameras you, because back then there was no such thing as like underwater movements. You just had to make sure you looked good above uh, water. Yeah. Right? You know how pissed they got when they're like now they they see everything. <laughs> Now they have to do all these like underwater it's synchronized unreal moves. Unreal though. I'm the worst when I'm watching the running. I'm like, I could, I could go a little faster than that. <laughs> it's like, I always think I could like maybe just have a good stride and yeah. beat everybody. But did you see the one guy who uh, uh, pole vaulted, but his yes. his package got in the way? And that's that's a point. That's points off, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, he, 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 he didn't clear out. it. He didn't so, clear it. He He's literally out. the only thing that hit the bar was that. <laughs> and it like <laughs> And that looks soft too. Like you know what I mean? It was he got a hefty package. Ooh, yeah, under yeah. That. And you know his DMs are flooded. Well, did you see that. he got offers? To do what? To do OF? Like <laughs> Like they're offering like a quarter million dollars, like Jeez. Come on. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, Is yeah. it a it's, I think they're just going with like just the joke. Uh just the Would you do it? What I do? Well, no, if no, you I know you know got it. cut from the Olympics, and the whole world is no, paying because attention I know I can get like uh, like I could get better jobs. Like right, after they should just have him do Calvin Klein or something. Good, there good you thing. go. Like that's underwear that's modeling. how you can. Yeah. That's how you can show it off in a in a tasteful. Yeah, nice. I shouldn't. I'm shouldn't just surprised if you knew you had that big of a package. Wouldn't you just tape that down? <laughs> Like it's the thing is that you, you're it, you're a pole vaulter. You like it you, happens. It has to it happen. happens often because it's happened to like other. Uh, not, I don't know if in the Olympics, other, but other, other monsters, other poles. <laughs> um, pretty crazy. Yeah, pretty wild. Dragon ass. I saw other people clearing the vault, but they still hit it. But they, but then they would land, and then they would like scream and be like, "Yes!" Other other people like you can. What's the difference? If you tap it and the pole doesn't fall off, that's still clearing. Yeah, it. you made it. Oh, it did. It, the pole didn't fall off though when he hit it. So he he cleared it. It did. He cleared it. Oh, he cleared it. The, you see the guy who broke the no, world the, record. No, the, the pole fell. Oh, the pole yeah. fell. Oh, Dan, your junk made it the whole pole fall. <laughs> that is that's a strong one. Yeah. yeah, good for him. Good for him. At least he won with something. I want to vent about something real quick. Let's hear um, it. And I just don't really understand. So, the gold medal is not actually gold. Oh, it's it, like 95% silver, right? And it's just painted, painted gold. gold. And it's like a gold plate. They put a little bit of gold in there just for the... I mean, that would be a lot of gold. That'd be... Yeah, 90, yeah, I know. 92% pure silver. Um, okay. I mean, that would be but, really expensive to make each metal. So it no? would be about 42 some odd thousand dollars to be completely gold. But it's like the Olympics is making millions and billions of dollars right. in advertising streaming people watching it people going out it's like i feel like the least you could do to, is give an athlete a real gold medal the last time it was real gold was like 1912 yeah these people are represent like they're the best in the world also How many you have four years you should hire a team of people in those four years to go 
Mine gold. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. That's a whole sport, that would huh? That such a fun <laughs> job. I think Imagine a gold medal, though, sift. is already worth like $42,000, though, probably. Like How if much? somebody was to sell it on the second hand? Yeah, it's really sad. Some people have had to sell their, their medals just Damn. because they don't make that much. Oh, my. I could I never just, get rid of that. But how so much? the actual value is worth nine hundred and fifty bucks. Oh, for, well, for the actual value of the the medal, right? But if somebody were to Seven. buy a gold medal, but still, I just think how like, many gold medal medals do you have to make, especially entire teams, like an entire soccer team wins the gold medal? You're telling forty two thousand dollars per. Like how many gold medals get printed? Yeah, that I has just, to be. I don't so think it, expensive. I think I don't think it needs to be real gold. Like honestly, I if anything, I think it's better to like give them a check and then that. Gold. I don't. You don't. It doesn't need to. Like shit could get lost. It can get stolen. I, that's why they probably put that into. And there's only so consideration. much of gold. That gold will never also get circulated ever into like the. And it just raises the value of it. The global currency of gold. Would it? Okay. Would it raise the currency? Of, if you're taking gold off the market, right? It's a supply and but demand. I think gold bars are still. I don't know. I'm not a financial expert. But we like we also are holding and storing like. Multiple football field size buildings of just straight gold. I thought there's only enough gold to cover like half a football field. And like, let's see it. Show us. The world has about 244,000 metric tons of gold. And how many metrics makes one? A metric ton? Like a ton is what? 3,000 pounds? So I don't know what a metric. It was heavy. Weren't they saying that they're... Uh their medals were heavy. I swore I saw a TikTok one time showing like the entire world gold on one football field. And I was like, that's it. I but love how all of our information comes from TikTok. I just feel like these people should, you know, get like a real prize. Yeah. I mean, they do. They, w they win gold. They, they win gold and they get a lot of, pay get paid that a lot Parmesan, of money. That Parmesan to me is worth Worth, worth its, its weight. weight in gold. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather get a Parmesan fresh on a deal than a... You'd want to put that in your mouth right after. <laughs> I saw something really cool in person that would have been so cool as like a, a little commercial or an advertisement. Um, I was on the highway and there were two cars in front of me. And one car was slightly ahead of the other. And the person in the passenger seat was eating chips and they like stuck their chips out the window and were reaching towards the other car. And I was like, do they know each other? Are they passing each other some snacks? And then the car eventually caught up to him and they were, the driver of the other car was eating the exact same chips and they cheersed each other. Oh, wow. And then, and then just took it was like off. A, It was like a barbecue Lay's It was barbecue chips. Lay's chips. And I was like, I could Whoa. not believe I saw that in person. It looked staged. They didn't know each other. One person exited and one person kept going. <laughs> but the guy reached out to show like, hey, we're like, it was just such like a cute moment. That's like, exactly something. I, if I saw somebody eating the same exact chips, I would, I would, I would catch up and just hold it out. I almost like was for, tearing up. It was just for beautiful. Shits and like that's Aww. so fun. Just little moments like that is so funny. But if somebody was recording that, I feel like that would blow up, and then Lays would like yes. post it. Oh, for yeah. Sure. It was just so cool. Like to just see a in good person. authentic like uh, such a cool moment. Like yeah. just like a real moment that you just saw. Humans are so cute. <laughs> they are. Just a little cheers on the highway too. Yeah. They were flying. Like to me, a moment like that is when you open your textbook. Uh, it, and the teacher tells you to go to a certain page and you would land on that certain page. Same it's like, good. it's not cool. You're like, what like, are the odds? When you tell, you tell someone, they're like, okay. oh, cool. But, but like, like seeing it and like fucking experiencing that, you're like, damn it. Like, that's I, crazy. I wish the yeah. whole world saw from my point of view yeah. that. I get that same freak out too when somebody says something and if I'm like driving and I see like a sign on the highway that says like that word and it's like a random word. I had another one driving uh, back from my workout. I was thinking about something with like about the Denny house. Uh huh. Like, the, uh, like our house on Denny street. And you I was thinking, the Denny's. And no, no, no. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, behind a car and the license plate was Denny one. Weird. Oh, so that was just like, so I saw that. Cool. I was just like, Oh my God, that's so weird. It's and like it's just like, it's like saying that. it out loud is like silly, but like, what is like, why did like, why did it do that? There's frequencies. So there weird. Frequencies so interesting. Out there. Love that. I love those little things. It just like, I don't know. It's like a, it lets you know you're like in the right place at the right yeah, time. The and universe yeah. is winking at you. Exactly. It's winking oh, at you. Bubba, what about the other lady that you saw driving the um, pink Corvette? Do you remember? Oh, yeah. That what? was weird. 
Her name was Angel. Oh, wait, Angel. Well, they made the whole movie about her. I the guess old so. lady I with the blonde it. hair. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wait, Angel. Why did I think her name was Celine? Uh, yeah, that's like a whole think... story. She was a girl who can, like can moved you... out to LA in like the 70s or 80s. Okay. And she was just a girl who wanted to be famous. She kind of did a little bit of like uh, rock music here and there, but she wasn't like, that good. Just like a modeling. Angeline. Like, can... Angeline. Okay. Angeline. So, uh, I yes, thought, there you go. I saw a billboard one time of this lady yeah. on there. It's just. I it, thought that's what you're, you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, Angeline. But I and, sh- and yeah, uh, the girl from the girl from uh, Shameless played her in that show. And Got so, it. So, so who is she? So is Mariah she was just a socialite. So yeah, I was on the highway and I saw this pink Corvette. So I wanted to pull up and see just who was driving it. And I took note of the license plate because it stood out. And I pulled up and I looked over and it's just this blonde, big boobs, plastic surgery, blonde hair. I'm like, can't forget that face. Tricks and Mattel. <laughs> big boobs. <laughs> and then big boobs. And then I didn't think anything of it. I didn't research or anything. A day later, I go on Facebook. The only reason I go on Facebook is to check Facebook Marketplace, but I went on the feed and started scrolling for a second. I scrolled once, and there's this billboard, this. I see this exact picture posted. That's one I've seen, yeah. And it's just a random... A profile of LA history or something. And this came up and I'm like, oh, the blonde and a pink car, but this wasn't the car that I saw. So I saw the license plate. I was like, that's what the license plate said. So then I did research and I put Angeline. Is that how you say her name? Yeah, Angeline. Angeline. I looked up Angeline pink car and she has like three of them. Yeah. And I saw the pink Corvette. I'm like, what the heck? So then it made me do research to see who the heck this woman was. And I saw that she's just like from old Hollywood. Yeah, she's so just crazy. a Hollywood staple. She just was just, she always yeah. just advertised herself like, I'm Angeline. Was, yeah. she, was she like, the, was she like a Paris Hilton type? Like, uh, like close? I'm trying back, to figure back out in like. The day. She just would go around and make herself known to turn heads and stuff. And so she was like the first socialite. Like Pretty I, much. I, in I Hollywood. It. Yeah. That's the car I Definitely. Saw. How old is she? Oh, has to be like in her late 60s, like early. 70s. Oh, oh! So she's definitely the oldest socialite then. Probably that's still out. Because Paris about. Hilton would be considered like the first. I think social Paris media. Hilton has like excelled socialite. Yeah, Paris no, 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 I'm, I'm talking socialite. about just like in general, just like timeline wise, like she would be the first like. Yeah, kind of socialite. That's not an actress. A not Hollywood a- socialite, I guess. But I think socialites have also been around for a very long time. Oh, like okay. if you go back to like, uh, you know, even like. Uh, Zelda Fitzgerald was like a socialite. Like uh, there were always like famous like wives of people yeah. who were. <laughs> Mariah, it's gonna be I you. Right. <laughs> I just thought that was crazy because this was before I I mentioned it to anybody. I didn't say it out loud. The fact that it came up on my Facebook feed, so crazy, and I haven't even talked about it was crazy. Damn, that's uh, it's crazy that I've seen her billboard like a few times, like re- like in the past like. Four and years, you know that's just years. her spending her own money, yeah, just to get up yeah. on. A- just like put my name up. Well, you know, like it's crazy. She got a show deal. At least it took her like 30, 40 years of yeah. doing it, but it was like a full Hulu show. I think you forget that you can just put whatever you want on a billboard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's crazy. We, you did that. I know. I, it's just crazy. How is there no filter system? Like how is there like not a, yeah, I feel like you like should a be certain... selling something, but exactly. Sometimes it's just it pure just... publicity. You so know? interesting to me. I'm, I have nothing against it. Like people, it's just crazy that like for a whole city that you just put whatever you want. I, and just, I mean, if you're paying, they're going to take your money. Yeah. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, Built. Listen up, renters. Ever feel like you're stuck in this loop of rent payments, just watching your money vanish into thin air? Uh-huh. It's time to turn that rent game around and start earning some serious rewards. That's where Built Reward comes in. Built is breaking ground as the first rewards program that hooks you up with points on your rent. Even if you're still rocking the old school rent check vibes, Built Rewards has got your back. They'll mail the check for you. It's like having a personal rent paying assistant. That's right, baby. Every month, pay your rent and watch those Built points roll in. You can even use those points to jet off on a dream vacation. Put your points toward a flight or a hotel stay with 500 plus airlines and 700,000 hotels and properties. You can even use those points to sweat it out, redeem your points to book fitness studio classes. You can also use your points toward future rent payment or toward a future down payment on a home. That's right. So start paying your rent hassle-free through the Built Rewards app. Your rent game just got a major upgrade. Built points have been consistently ranked the highest value point currency by the Point Sky 
and bank rate. So if you're ready to earn points by paying rent right now, all you have to do is go to joinbuilt.com slash unfiltered. Yes, that's joinbilt.com slash unfiltered. And make sure to use our URL so they know we sent you. Again, it's joinbuilt.com slash unfiltered to start earning points today with your rent payments. Thank you, Built, for sponsoring today's episode. We've talked <laughs> about this before a long time ago, but we have a friend who works in advertisement and he was explaining to us why some billboards are where they are oh, yes like they'll track say there's the 101 they'll track the demographic on the 101 they'll see like okay this is like 18 plus or 21 plus female male whatever and they'll put like an alcohol advertisement how do you even track that like so how do you Apple, track like, they going they on sell data so they'll they'll go to like as you're driving on maps and it pulls your information so like certain roads certain like parts of town, whatever it is, like they go, okay, the most people driving down this specific road is, you know, predominantly female, predominantly male in this age group. Yeah. So they go, this is where your billboard is going to go to get the most eyes for your target yeah. audience. And Wild. I also know that they will put certain celebrities on certain billboards if the celebrities live close to where they live. Like they, Josh Peck, when he was doing uh, that show with John Stamos, Josh, I think, I think he told me this, that by his house... The, uh, all the advertisements that he would see mostly around LA were all of him and John's, or just of John Stamos on uh, it. Because they it, think they'll take a picture of it? Yeah, oh, I, it, they, I, yeah I guess it's just uh, the enthusiasm from whoever is part yeah. of the project, but they'll cool. put it wherever if they live nearby I, so they can see I it. love how like big actors now don't even post like themselves on like big billboards anymore. I I don't care how big I was. I will always <laughs> yeah. take a picture. If it's like, if I'm on a giant billboard, it's crazy. I like, uh, like Leo DiCaprio or Brad Pitt or, you know, Margaret mm -hmm. will just drive by and they're on like the biggest billboard in the world. You would think that they would just be like, oh, well, that's me. Do or you if think I was a musician and like hearing your song in public has to be like such yeah. a rush. You don't think I couldn't even team, imagine that feeling. Do you yeah. think their team goes like, oh, don't post stuff like that. It'll make you less... Uh, uh, mysterious. Like, yeah, there has to open be up Leo's camera roll, and it's just oh. <laughs> there has to be a reason why they don't. Or do you think like just in that industry, it doesn't look cool? It doesn't, it doesn't look cool. No, it doesn't look cool. But yeah. also, like they're just like not posting anything. Like it would be like story worthy, maybe. Oh, they're so boring. But like a little bit. Leo, Leo's not like Snapchatting his day. I'd love <laughs> you know to see I mean? Leo's Snapchats of the day. That'd be so interesting. I'd love to see. Uh, Jennifer Coolidge's uh, yeah. <laughs> Instagram story. Oh my God. Oh, or wow. Just random. You look like the 4th of July. July. But they're also old too. They don't like that type of shit anymore. They I mean, if you've, been a, if, if you've been around the block, I mean, Leo's been working since he was like a kid. So I feel like he's pretty cynical to it. I just think uh, celebrities should have more fun with like branding. Like I feel like someone like Jennifer Coolidge should work with like Oscar Meyer or something. Just something that would yeah, work and that would make sense. You see, it, you see it sometimes. I feel like yeah, some celebrities have been enough. like having fun with different like brands. Yeah. Like um, the Michael Sarah with the CeraVe was like a perfect. Perfect. Yeah. yeah that's that, that's perfect. genius. The Parmesan perfect. Just simple things that'll like help both parties. Yeah. I don't know. I just think they should be more personable and humane i think we'll see a little like, bit more so of that perfect. in the coming like years for sure i think they're gonna have a lot more fun and i think i think um traditional type campaigns are gonna start going out the door too like i feel like these new younger people are now starting to work in these big brands and big companies so i feel like they're gonna have like a lot of say and mm -hmm. creative and all that because man the creative for brands can be just dog shit. I hate seeing bad campaigns. It like yeah. pisses me off. <laughs> someone, you know, <laughs> someone was like uh, sharing like infomercials from like the nineties and stuff. Uh, like, you know, just silly, like, Oh, this is a personal egg cracker. This is a way to mow your lawn. And everyone's like, I'm happy about the time I became an adult. They got rid of infomercials. Cause I'd be buying all uh, of this yeah. stuff. Like, because I feel like infomercials, we could never buy what was on TV because we didn't it, have it, access you, it to felt a credit card. Un, un, uh, uh, un, inaccessible. inaccessible. It like gets. you, like you, if you called the number, you don't think that you would even get, get an answer. Through. It just didn't feel real yeah. watching an infomercial. I don't even know if I've ever asked my parents if they ever bought anything straight up from an infomercial. Yeah, my, my parents have never. They my, were like, why would I get on a phone and just share my credit card information yeah. with some random my person? My grandma would. My grandma. I, 
that she would be like, mm -hmm. call, yeah, I, she still watches that shit. My mom like, would do all sorts of like yeah. TV shot, like QVC. But I remember watching those commercials and it's like, call now. If you, if you call within the next whatever minutes, like you're going to get this discounted rate. And I asked my mom, I was like, how do they know that you just watched the commercial? Yeah. Like, how do they know it's been five? Like, how can you prove it? <laughs> now yeah, it's like would, obvious, like, they would know because they know exactly the times. Are Remember those. the late hours of the night? This would be the only thing yeah. on. It'd be this and George Lopez. Mm. Like, yeah, oh, damn. yeah. <laughs> that little, um, the cat color changing um, oh, scrape yeah. thing. The I Marvin's that. Magic Erase Board. And they would go, and it, it dries instantly. And that motherfucker, Lies. I would get so close to the TV, and he just would go like that. <laughs> he would never <laughs> fucking touch it. I was like, scam. <laughs> Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, Rocket RX. For everybody listening, what if we told you that longer, stronger lasting erections were just a click away? Get trusted FDA approved treatments for erectile dysfunction at a lower price than branded alternatives. Yes, delivered straight to your door in discreet, plain packaging. No in person appointments or pharmacy visits needed. It's better sex made simple. It's super simple. You just got to complete a 100% online quick and easy consultation now with no in-person appointment needed. And you're going to get a free online prescription from Real U.S. Clinical Team today. So start right now, baby. It just takes two minutes. You're going to use code unfiltered for 20% off your first order. Terms and conditions apply. And the 20% off your first order is only available once for new customers and cannot be combined with other offers. The offer is not available for prescriptions. Thank you, Rocket RX, for sponsoring today's episode. We love you. Oh, uh, back to the Olympics real quick. Do you know yeah. you made a um, a real prediction? About what? Okay, you know how you said um, Tom Cruise should do a stunt? Yeah. Yes. For like uh, the LA Olympics? Y yes. Zane? What? Did no you, way. What's going on? Did you know Tom Cruise just confirmed that he's doing a stunt to close out Paris Olympics Come on! to to show Come that on! it's going to LA? I was just saying, is be, that that's insane. how you open that, an that, Olympic that's ceremony? That's crazy. Wow. That's so insane. That's you the mean. perfect transition. That's really cool. What's the stunt? I Do cannot, we know? but like, it's real? Yes. This is that Zane. I think Tom's his team saw saw what I said. I, 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 they saw what I said, <laughs> and they they That's came up says. with the idea. That's all I said. And this is to promote his last movie. Or did your dad tell you? <laughs> no, no, my dad. No, I said that. I I it, it just felt like he should because he is the he is America. <laughs> <laughs> he he is the like he is the definition well, yeah. of high action. Like yeah. if, if somebody it, says name a celebrity, you go Tom, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Yeah. I wonder what the stunt's going to be. Probably like a motorcycle stunt. Some sort of, I don't know, yeah. but it's death defying. <laughs> <laughs> Always. It, be it better be. I, death. To all death. Of death. You think that, he's going to you, you you motorcycle through, through the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> through, through the through rings. The rings <laughs> through Over the, rings. the tower. <laughs> yes. Hopefully they like. And then the beginning of the LA Olympics, he's going to be entering it. Wow. Whoa. You know that transition on TikTok His where people, yeah. people jump over their phones onto vacation? All over it, Onto the beach. His <laughs> team is like, we really need to do for TikTok. He's like, fuck, I don't want to do this shit for TikTok. This is my, this is my show. Oh, his silhouette I, in the moon. <laughs> I think I should get an invite to the closing ceremony. That's because crazy that you called it. Come on. Like actually insane. It's going to be happening soon. How many more days are left? I mean, hell, by the time this episode comes out, it may have already happened. May have happened. May have happened. So cool. They don't show him landing the bike until the next Olympic. Like, Sarah, <laughs> you know what I mean? He disappears. Dude, that's like, he just, it's just his jump. It's like a cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. That's, he's cliffhanging. Make another prediction, Zane. Make another prediction. <laughs> and he's, he's uh, yeah, skydiving. Um, he goes off the edge. He's definitely promoting like his the last movie for sure. Like there, I, the final mission doing, impossible. Yes. yes as PR. Why do I yeah. feel like you sh like you can't do that? What? It's the Olympics. Like it shouldn't. Yeah, be but they're paying or they're paying it's brands. the yeah, they're Olympics paying. to do that. I think. That's why I'm saying give the damn athletes gold. <laughs> they're making it, billions. Yeah, what I mean, it has to be. It's not going to be the motorcycle stunt. I don't think because that was the first. That was part one. I, it's it's over. It's been done. It has to be something from the new movie because there's going to be obviously a big fucking stunt because that's what he always does. Oh, a hundred percent. But the, it's crazy that he has to get it done and he has one chance. And but he also had one chance also for the movie. He's what like, if it's, it's not an ad for Mission Impossible? It's an ad for the Church of Scientology. <laughs> Everyone's like, what? <laughs> whoa, whoa, Tom, Tom. They would never not... show it on the screen, but I think that he definitely does a lot of donations. 
there, like like secret donations. Yeah, he goes and like yeah. speaks at a lot of their stuff. Remember I when mean, he got Scientologists are weird, but remember I don't when think you got invited to be on a commercial for Scientology? We did. No. You did. I did. Yeah, remember you said you got hit up and you said, "Oh, Matt's de- the perfect victim." You denied it. Oh my god! You denied you're it. Bringing, you're like, "No, yeah, I'm not yeah, doing it." But yeah. you got you got asked to be. Yes, in it. I did. Yeah. Back when I was like had a commercial agent yeah. and stuff. Yeah, it was in the Church of Scientology. Yeah, oh my yeah, yeah, yeah. god! Holy shit! I but forgot then remember about that. we remember we were saying maybe they reached out to you because you are such anti. You're so <laughs> anti, and they're like, "Oh, maybe we can, maybe we can I'm, switch." Oh, in. I'm not like anti Church we, of Scientology. No, this was around the time we were talking about it, like every other episode, like in, in small increments. <laughs> Yes, I, this is coming So remember, back we're like, me. maybe they reach out to you purposely to be like, mm. we, can, we can flip. Try to Matt would be yeah. so easy. He'd be like, no, 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 I'm good. And he'd be like, we have every celebrity. You can imagine, <laughs> he'd be like, cool. That's where Scientology gets you. You so get wait. booked in busy if you like are join the church and you say you're an actor. They give you everything. Oh what, wait, what do you mean they give you everything? Like, what well, does like, that there's mean? There's always somebody Money who works for the church thing. that works in casting and, and is like, we like this kid. They, we they pick like this play kid. favoritism with people that are if I, so if I join signs up. if i join Scientology, can i be in the next uh, house of you'd probably be really rich and famous i'll say the odd zane would go up at least 35 percent. that's not bad yeah better than zero <laughs> better than uh, if, if that gets me a chance <laughs> asa la vista but, unfiltered but never, i got season yeah. three of a hot td to hit right, yeah careful that that possessed tattoo is getting to your head <laughs> oh yeah oh do you want to talk about that tattoo? I already did. Oh, did I did. not? We talked about it on live, and you talked about it on basically yeah. unfiltered. Oh, I did. I did. I did. We'll, we'll uh, wait for you to go my, watch it. My my <laughs> tattoo of my uh, exorcism exorcism girl that I got it wasn't supposed to be exorcism. She was supposed to be fallen, and um, now she's exercising. She um, <laughs> she got infected badly, and it ruined like half the tattoo. So I have to get it redone. Was it painful? Um, it wasn't painful, but it was oozing. It was oozing ink it, and or blood. Oh, like the um, the lines were like like split, basically. Like it looked like it was like carved with a knife because like the outline of it was like open and like oozing and like bleeding. It's called Chasm. it's called a heavy. So some tattoo artists they'll have a heavy hand and they'll like dig a, deeper than they should and it'll cut you everywhere. So where he was having a heavy hand was the bottom of the dress and the entire area got infected. Oh, Matt, how eerie is that? Uh, spooky. Isn't that really strange? So that entire bottom that you see the bottom of the dress, Matt? Yeah. That entire area is like, uh, it's faded. It just like ate up the. Ink. Oh no! So wait, do you have to let it like heal for a little bit? I have to bit let it completely heal and then get uh, my up. guy is going to just uh, fix it. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, DraftKings Casino. In a world of slot reels and blackjack deals, comes the must-play event of the summer from DraftKings Casino, featuring nonstop action and an all-star cast of games, including A-lister Loki's Luck. This summer blockbuster is one you won't want to miss. Plus, new players can get one hundred dollars instantly in casino credits with just a one dollar wager and all players get a blockbuster bonus every week so sign up with code zane and grab your popcorn it's showtime on DraftKings casino gambling problem call 1-800-GAMBLER or in west virginia visit www.1800gambler.net in connecticut help is available for problem gambling called 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org please play responsibly 21 plus physically present in connecticut michigan new jersey pennsylvania west virginia Virginia only void in Ontario eligibility and other restrictions apply new customers only $1 wager to earn $100 in non withdrawable casino credits that expire in 168 hours terms at casino.draftkings.com slash blockbuster thank you so much DraftKings casino for sponsoring this podcast we love you how was Elton's wedding Oh was yeah, how was so that? Like perfectly gosh. Elton. It's not even funny. <laughs> it was honestly amazing. A beautiful mix of both of them. Love it. It was the perfect mix. They it was yeah. like indoor outdoor. They had the dinner inside and the cocktail hour. And it was the flowers were beautiful. The room itself was stunning. There was lights. Um, the ceremony was like under this massive tree. It was like whimsical it, carnival. Love. So yeah. then the uh, after we ate, the other half of the reception 
it kind of felt like an after party because more people showed up at that time. Yeah. And it was, I felt like we were at a real carnival. It was crazy. It was he, packed with people. The whole field was full of like carnival rides, like um, the Ferris wheel. There was like a pirate ship swinging thing. They oh, had the guys fun. who bounce on the trampolines and run up the wall and do flips. Oh, cool. They had jugglers. They had snake wranglers. There was they people had on silks. stilts walking around. It was silks. really cool. That is very Elton. It was it very was Elton wedding yeah. for sure. It sounds like weird, but it was tasteful and cool like it yeah. was them it's a, re- a reflection of the couple and that's what yeah. a good wedding yeah. should Ooh. be it was beautiful I, I know it was hot out there i was oh. i was working out that day the gym and i was dying it was in warm the gym, it was really hot it was warm. yeah it was, it was hot really hot because we were sitting in the direct sun for the ceremony yeah but as soon as that was over we were we were relaxed and i'm then. sure you guys are uh, I'm, I'm i know you guys are glad you're doing it inside right your, your well, wedding. ours is going to be in, gonna be in cold, the winter, but yeah. so yeah, it's, it's going to be cold. But even, but even still, I, I just feel like it takes so much of the stress, yeah. like having an inside wedding, because it doesn't matter what the weather it, is like, you know yeah. you don't have to worry I'm about it. I'm excited for it to be like chilly, because no matter what time of year you go to a wedding, you're going to be hot indoor, outdoor, because when you're dancing, it gets hot. Everyone mm-hmm. takes off their well, jackets. Once you're dancing, it don't matter. Like, like you get really like, hot, so I'm excited for people to like step outside and still see the property, cool, just fresh to air. cool down, Could have it be a snowy? cigarette. Very good. It could. Yeah. If it's in, snow, if it's snowed, it'd be really sick. Be it would be like really the cool. The pictures would be sick. As long as people get in smoothly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The only thing I'm worried about, I'm not praying for snow until people get there. <laughs> that would yeah. be really cool. Because I don't know if, if you guys are going to be able to get there on time. But having I mean, it Snow indoor. doesn't cause delays all the time. Flights. Right? Yeah. It, it, it does. Yeah. I mean, when you're coming from just different places, I, I mean. Oh, I or know. just like, just in general, it could cause different planes. Yeah. yeah. I think we'll be all right. It hasn't snowed like that around that time of year in a really long time. I'll pray for you. Thank, Thank you, Zane. I'll pray for you. But yeah, it was really, really beautiful. Yeah, it was, a, it was a really fun wedding. They did a good job. Anybody wear white? Yes. <gasps> what? There actually was. Not only white, but it was white with sequins everywhere. Oh, like she no. really stood out. And I was like, oh, I wonder if that's the mother of the bride. Yeah. No. Was not the mother of the bride. Oh, that just baffles <laughs> me that a person is getting ready for a wedding and is like looking at that dresses. That doesn't cross and goes your mind. White. And then even like their spouse, were they not like, honey, we're going to I, I a know. wedding. I said How about the you same go change? Thing. I said the same thing. I said, when you're picking out a dress, the first thing in your mind is the color white. Like, okay, white is obviously <laughs> off limits. It's like, not that hard. Don't oh, one up. Zane. You what? know what I mean? Our friend that we just saw. I, I, know, I don't want to talk about <laughs> <laughs> What was it? At, they were at the wedding too? No, nah. this person, she was wearing nah. <laughs> She was showing. At a wedding? So, at a, at wedding. a wedding. <laughs> it, it was just like, this is not wedding appropriate? I definitely not. At all. Definitely not. But you know, there's so, you know how they're like, you go to, uh, I feel like girls talk about it on TikTok all the time. They'll just have a wedding. They're talking about it. She's like, I told, th- I told this girl like she shouldn't be wearing anything like this, and she still showed up like that. And like, it's just you don't want to look way too sexy yeah. in like a wedding. Yeah, there's, it's, it's, oh, there's attire for weddings. Like you need to be appropriate. Yeah. 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 It's not here to draw you know what attention. I mean? There are grandparents. It's, it's, there are parents. But it's not even that. It's just like, no, it's it their is, day. It's, a, it's not it even that. It's but not it's even that. that. Yeah, just it's it. not even that. Oh, because my, it is I, that. It is that. And God is I was <laughs> right at Mariah right when it came out. I was like, <laughs> Can you believe him? Can you believe that? It's not that? even no, that. No, but no, no. I, what I, was, I was actually disagreeing with you at that time. I wasn't agreeing with you. But you're right. I did. You say would it. want someone to be skimpy in front of grandparents. That's disrespectful. I think it's disrespectful. Yeah, that's very disrespectful. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if I was a grandpa. But <laughs> Ew, you're weird. Zane is a grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> is, if Zane, thank God you were a girl, you would be wearing. <laughs> Zane would be doing the most oh, if you were a girl. Forget it. Reading, reading the room Zane every night. Like, Zane at a bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zane would like start every video. Like, I would, I would be inappropriate. It'd be bad. Save it for Coachella, girly. Yeah. Who's the um the designer brand right now that's selling what looks like a used like uh festival wristband? That's and like I, an accessory. Yes, I think that it might like be Gucci. The, the no, I think Livestrong. it might be Bal- Balenciaga. No way. Oh, Balenciaga Zane, at it again. It. it looks like an old ripped up like Coachella wristband, and you know people are gonna buy it. <laughs> It's a 3,000 pound couture <laughs> festival. Oh my. Oh no. What that is, is crazy. That? No, 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 no. Oh, cause <laughs> the second the festival's over, I want that shit off of me. Do you at least keep all your wristbands? I keep a lot of them. I keep 
all of you, my. You keep all the like, like nice, one, ones? The, the nice, the nice ones, the nice ones, yeah, but that too. were like you know stitched and stuff. I oh, that's cra- I. <laughs> I just right. four grand for that is absurd. Hey, artist artist first demands are five. So <laughs> true. Yeah, I don't that's know. That's probably how they came up with the price. That's just stupid. That looks I, like Hulkamania. Mm-hmm. You know who would buy that? Remy. Would she <laughs> no, buy that in a heartbeat? No, she wouldn't. <laughs> she, she would not. You know Re- Mar- Mar- Remy bought a um she bought a Birkin and then Whoa. she she uh, she wrapped the handles to like protect it the Birkin cuz you know to keep its value. I was like Oh, uh, she you wrapped, wrapped it with a bandana. B- bandana, bandanas. B- 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 band. Bandana costs two hundred bucks. She bought it from the same store. I was like, "Why did you just put a regular <laughs> rip?" I think Birkins are badass when you like beat them up and you really like wear a fucking. I th- Birkin. Well, she was saying it keeps her value when you keep it in good condition. Yeah, but I think like, well, if she plans on reselling it, I think if you buy a Birkin, you have a Birkin for life. I, th- I think she planned. I think she plans on like, like the Olsen twins when they're like you know walk around New York and just an overstuffed Birkin. It's so go to hell but, and badass. But from dumb, I. I think that makes it worth it. No? Okay. Uh, right? No, the, the, Birkin, that- the Birkin holds value. It's like a stored value. It's like a, an appreciating asset, like a certain Rolex or things like that. But you don't think they attach can't... names on like certain pieces to make them like a little bit more? Well, the Birkin no, named I mean, after the Birkin named after Jane Birkin. The no, no, no. I understand. I know uh, that. I'm talking about I'm just sure like the person like who used a, to own it. If a it. super fan of that person was selling it, they might be able to get more to be like, I have Mary Kate and Ashley, whatever is Birkin. Yeah. You know. Um, but like you can't just like go like you can't like buy them. You have to like you have to be invited to like purchase them. It's right? like very hard to get. Yeah, that's so crazy. Would you want a Birkin? No, too expensive. I just don't like the way they look. It's not me. Oh, I'd love to buy. I Patricia like the story Birkin. behind it. Yeah, the story. The crazy. story is cool, but the story is really sick. So cool. Do they, they have a story like that for every very expensive designer, right? Or is it just this one that had like a no? But this is like the whole thing of like the designer being on a flight, sitting next to this lady. And coming up with the idea for this bag because she like needed something that was like bigger that you could like open and like stuff with, yeah, you know, yeah. and like named it after her. She just passed away, Jane Birkin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, rest in peace. Mm-hmm. Oh shit, she was gorgeous. I got a notification when I was in the bathroom. I was taking the sheets. I'm sorry, Mara. And um, I got I, this is the first time I received a notification for earthquake. Oh, yesterday. That was that was your first time too? Yes. That was the first time ever. And it, we, we got, got the it. notification and we looked at each other like, we're getting notified? And this then, is a first? And then immediately everything started shaking and we just looked at each other and I was like, Whoa. it was five seconds after receiving that. Yes. Yeah. Why didn't we ever get a text like that? In the, in the it past? made me nervous because I was like, this has got to be it. Big. Like, it's got to be big. It. Yeah. Because yeah. they didn't say a number or nothing. I was like, this yeah. is it. Hedaya was in the shower and I was on the Did toilet. Did you feel it? Uh, not in the same bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew she was taking even, this. I did not even think about that. I know, that, but whatever. I just needed to, to yeah, reiterate yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Um, what were you saying? <laughs> you were saying. <laughs> so, oh, I thought you said you something were, you in between. Were, you were in the bathroom. She was in the shower. Yeah, and I when I saw that, I started feeling. I was like, oh, my God. I hope this is it because Hidaya is in the shower. And, like, if we have to, it's go, fu- it's go time. Yeah. Having to, like, pull her out of the shower. It, like, what, what, what's going to oh, happen? Oh, shit. Yeah, it just would have it it stunk. It's crazy to me that people can be in the exact same room and one person will feel it and one person will Patricia yeah. didn't feel it. I felt it. But crazy. Patricia was, like, on her feet moving stuff around. And I Jordan was just didn't in bed. feel it. I texted him immediately. I was like, because he's never felt one. Uh. So I was so excited. I was like, there's no way he didn't feel this. I go, bro, did you feel it? And he was like, there's no way. You have to be like <laughs> in a certain it. spot. Like even on your bed sometimes you won't feel it. But like if you see, you'll see shit on the wall moving. Our mm-hmm. chandel- our light over our kitchen was like yeah, it was swinging. swinging. All the bottles were like, the liquid was in it going like, Whoa. it was bad. Here's it was door- up by Bakersfield. Yeah. Crazy. I just love, I love it's this game that we're all playing. We're all playing the this same game. We all know what, what, uh, what you get if you lose. Yeah. We're all Awful. ready. It's just, it happens. We're like, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, good. I did go. Wait till I the next did one. get up and immediately. nobody's moving. Nobody's moving. <laughs> I got up immediately and I went to the door frame. I was like, Patricia. And like, then it was where, like, where do I go? Patricia. Me and Heath were like, woo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You keep going. <laughs> it, it is fun though. Like it's so interesting. It's a really bizarre feeling of like you're nervous because you don't know what it's going to be exactly. It could be huge. It could be like nothing at all, but you're like just sitting there and like you don't run. Yeah. You don't like go. There's nothing to do other than it's such a strange feeling. I was thinking about this scenario yesterday after a habit. I was like, in my, because imagine, imagine this was it, right? The first it's shit's going down. 
you're immediately probably going to lose service because those towers are going to probably be on the ground if it was like the big one, right? Everything's yeah. down. You have no now no internet, no fucking signal, no wife. So now you have no contact with any of your friends and shit's just going down. Just imagine, like, just having, just knowing that you can't, like, you don't know what anyone's yeah. up to or what anyone's going through right now in that moment, having to escape this house. The house is crumbling down because it's a fucking 12 magnitude earthquake. But having to find everybody... All your friends without like any phone or signal is yeah. scary. Oh boy! Sorry, I just blacked out. What did I say? <laughs> you were you were you, you were actually imagining and envisioning it. That was real. Wow! And I also em em envisioned Tom Cruise at the closing ceremony. So don't speak I'm anything else. You're clairvoyant now. Yeah. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this podcast, Seek Geek. Guys. You all have used our code so much that SeatGeek wanted to hook you up with a new special offer, baby. That's right. Everyone can use our new code UNFILTERED10 for 10% off any tickets on SeatGeek, whether you're a new customer or not. And we're going to want to take advantage of this because concert season is back, baby. Artists like Billie Eilish, Niall Horan, Sabrina Carpenter, and Noah Khan are on tour. And you already know that SeatGeek is the best place to get those tickets. And again, no matter how many times you've bought tickets using SeatGeek before, Unfiltered 10 is going to get you 10% off your next order. So take out those phones, open SeatGeek app, and add code UNFILTERED10 to your account. What are you waiting for, baby? Do it now because this offer is only available for a limited time. Exactly. And again, use code UNFILTERED10 for 10% off on SeatGeek. And thank you again, SeatGeek, for sponsoring this podcast. We love you. I'm going to a bachelor party tomorrow. You're going to what? A bachelor party. No way. Yeah, Who's? Tahoe. My buddy, Justin. He was one of my groomsmen. Justin. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Justin. Justin. Yeah. Tahoe, you're going to do... Uh some lake activities? Yes, gonna... we're getting on a boat. I know nice. that. We're doing a boat it's and a then... Boat, boat days are always the best. The best. So you should always include that in a bachelor. Oh, party. yeah, absolutely. Get a Just boat amazing. date in it. I don't know if it's a pontoon or what. The, it's a party barge, but I'm... They, I'm we, are, we already did the pontoon for you, so try to find something else. The party barge... <laughs> The double decker pontoon. Oh, mm. Yeah, give me all of that. We're doing beer Olympics too. Maybe what's, some gambling. What's, what's beer Olympics? I don't know. They split you up into teams, and you got to do beer pong, flip cup, all the classics. Oh, that's oh, you, fun you to do, uh, you know. Since it's what going is your on, what is your, what is your favorite trial. game? Are you guys good at beer pong? I don't know any of what the games are called. I don't know. You know what beer? Pong. I know what beer pong is, but I don't know like the other ones. Oh, right. you know, I was really good at. Well, Flip Cup and Rage Cage. Flip Rage, Cup Rage Cage. Cage. I hate I Rage Cage. Rage Cage is great. When I someone's love. like, let's play Rage Cage, <laughs> I'll fucking play it, but I'm not having a good Remember time. Remember during the pandemic, we went on like a Rage Cage like marathon? Yes. <laughs> it was like just the four of us. <laughs> and like, there's nothing cattier than like you 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 get it and then you look at the table and go <laughs> back to the person to fuck them or when over. somebody like slaps your cup but it's like a, a little too aggressive yeah, on the slap it's like, you're like calm down oh, <laughs> oh fuck me you. and Todd have been playing a lot of beer die beer you die want, is the beer most die, you Mariah you would love beer die okay I see clips of beer die and like amazing shots I have no clue how people do it it's 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 you do you know the game. Um, a, each part, each team has a dice, and you have your drinks on, like drink on, on each the corner corners, of the table. Right, you have to like throw it in the air really high, and it has to bounce on their side once, and it has to make it off the table, and the other team has to catch it. And if they catch it, you lose a point. Do you have to catch it with your non-dominant hand? Is that no, one hand? No, one hand. One hand. Yeah, you okay. can't like use. But two what happens hands. if it? Th but isn't it like amazing if it goes up, bounces, in the, and gets into the into cup? the cup? That's three points. That's that's to, the best then shot. They have you to can chug do. the beer. Okay. And then you have to spit the dice out after you chug oh, it. We don't. We don't. We don't. Do what? That. Yeah. Like so, if the, it landed in there, you have to chug your beer, put the die in your mouth, and then spit that out. And if it hits a certain number, it's like another like oh. type of thing. Oh, I didn't Man, know I that. Would, I, um, like I would joke on that shit. Yeah, I, would, yeah, I would too. If it hits the table and bounces off, and you catch it, it just negates it. Like nothing happens. Okay. You like save the play. Got it. We played it on the beach a couple days. It was really fun. It's a really fun game. Flip yeah. cup, I love. Yeah, I, I it's, love a great, flip cup. it's a it's great. It's a great party simple. starter. Yeah, there's so nothing simple. than realizing you had that you have the weakling <laughs> on your team, and you're like, damn. <laughs> you see someone's you like whole rip, core as a your person. Your whole team is ripping through it one shot, and then you're like, 
Come on. <laughs> oh, you got it. Yeah. And you're, it's such a simple go, go, task. Go, go, go. Lighter, 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 lighter. You're lighter, overthinking lighter. it. Yeah. You're overthinking <laughs> it. And then they, like, they've done it so many take times, breath, and then they're breath. doing it the wrong way. Like, they're playing flip up, and you're yeah. like, that's not even how you it's do it. This is their take first breath, time. Take, breathe, 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 breathe. Lighter, lighter. And you know you're they're good. getting pissed off at themselves because they can't get it. It's so embarrassing. That's where it gets to the point where they're pissed off. Sorry, guys. So embarrassing. Sorry. And you know that's the that's the party starter, too, is flip clubs. That's usually what you start with. And when that one person really just sets enemies. the mood, you, nobody nobody wants to talk to them. Nobody wants to play <laughs> with like, them. Can we trade? Can we trade? <laughs> like, players, let's switch it up. <laughs> there was one really fun game. I think it might be part of that, but it's like a relay game where it's at a beer pong table, but you have, like, six cups in oh, a row. Oh, that's the Beer Olympics, I think, no? What six you're cups, talking about? Wait, six cups in a row. And six, then... Like, pointing forwards, and you have to make them, and then you, like, get it back, and you have to keep... Yes, it's like beer pong, but it's in straight lines. I know yeah. that one. Or what's also the oh. King's Cup where people get the, yeah. the cards up? Oh, four Kings whores. Cup, like King's six, Cup kind of felt like like a spin the bottle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it wasn't my yeah. favorite game. Yeah. You know what game I love? Spoons. Love it's so spoons. funny. <laughs> it's fun to so watch. It's so easy, yeah. It's something oh, you really have fun like watching. taking the spoon and no one even knows and you're just chilling. A classic. I thought of a Spoons version. I just played Spoons at the Bachelorette, but I thought of a version. You're all going to roll your eyes, but I think it's so fun. <laughs> if you if somebody hides the spoons in the room and then you're playing and you have to <laughs> run and try to find it oh. instead of like grabbing it in front of you. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> it's like that's an terrible. Easter egg hunt at the same oh. Oh. You know what my hack is with spoons? Yeah. I don't even fucking play the game. I just sit there and look at the spoons the entire time. Oh, wait. Oh. And just, and wait, just for, wait for, the wait yeah, for just I've, someone to take it and then you I go. I think it gets to that point where you're just like, okay, just. But you have to start paying attention when it's down to one and two. Yeah. Like I thought really... if somebody caught you doing that, it would be like, you can't do that. Oh. But yeah, I, I didn't think that was like allowed. Could, what if everybody did that? Uh, right? Yeah, <laughs> no, know, there's a hack, there's a hack. You know what we realized while we were playing? We played like 10 rounds and we realized we never like double checked anybody's work. Because yeah. by the time, cause it gets really like hype at that time when you're grabbing the spoons. So by the time you grab it, everyone's screaming and you're like collecting the cards and you're like, I almost got that one, but I went, I went for this one first. I, like, and, and no one questions the, and the cards questions. are everywhere too. They're, yeah, they slip yeah. everywhere. It's because you grab the spoons, you let go of everything that you've ever held in your life. <laughs> when was the last time you played musical chairs? Oh, pretty recently. Oh, I feel I like it was actually chair. at like Scott's birthday. We all, why the fuck were we playing musical chairs? It was like Scott's Liza. We were all in that boat and we were playing musical chairs. I remember oh, I think that. We, I think it was honestly just that we were like, oh, this would be really funny to play. And then we just played it. Oh, musical chairs. But there, why was there so many chairs? I think that was the boats, like I, uh, the, whoever was running the boat. The I idea. got a fun game we could play. Musical chairs. It was really funny. Yeah. I, lo I love watching people play musical chair when it gets to the last like three oh. then they start recording. I, uh. I can watch those all day. Watching it when there's money on the line and people will literally throw them. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you see the girl that grabbed the chair? <laughs> Just grab like boom. Damn. What a, a good old competition. Right. For, for your saw, birthday, you should do a, um, you should do a birthday party where it's like all those type of games. Uh, yeah, everywhere. I totally, well, I've tried that so many we times. We bought get, a tug of war and nobody played. That no, we all, I thought everybody played nobody, tug of war. Nobody, nobody played. No, we played jump rope for two seconds. Wait, I, we, I, bought, I mean, we bought we double dutch ropes. We bought tug of war. We bought cornhole. Like nobody gives a shit. I'm like, come <laughs> on. Everyone's like, where's the pong table? Yeah. I'm like, grow up. I went to a party. Play musical chairs. <laughs> grow up. <laughs> <laughs> grow up and let's Literally have a scavenger hunt. The, the <laughs> I saw the I saw a video of the Olympics from like 1910 or 1920s, and they had tug of war as one of the. Whoa. Damn. Yeah, it was really cool. Good old tug of war, classic. I, by the way, I did not know the Olympics went back that far. It started in like the 19, like 18, 1920 or something. Before that. Before that. Yeah. Before, yeah. I did not fucking know that. That goes way, way, back. way back. Even way back to like the Greeks, yeah. I feel like we're having Olympics. That all my life would have been like 1969. <laughs> oh no, it's going on a long time. you think that's the 60s? <laughs> Look, 19, we got Zane oh, right here. 1912, tug of war. I that's did. amazing. So cool. Wow. So, so cool. That's, I kind of want to see that. It's I also would watch amazing that. To like see, tug of war? It's also amazing to see sports then, especially like gymnastics, all the yeah. illegal tricks yes. now. Yeah. It is 
unbelievable. That demon, like, what's it called? The demon drop? The the girl, when you go up to the top bar yeah. and you do the backflip off. But I also learned they changed a lot of those, not because of uh, like people can get injured doing the moves. The bearing of the bars has changed. Like it used to be really oh, flexy. So you could like mm. hop Bounce. back and forth. Uh, now it's like I so tough more where rigid. you can't, uh, even if you tried, you would like my, hurt yourself. <laughs> my favorite thing right now is uh, like a meme. It's basically... Uh, my parents buying a home in like the seventies or whatever, and it's just somebody on like a gymnastics mat who does like a little bounce on the pommel horse thing or whatever it is, and then it's like me trying to buy a home in twenty twenty four, and it's like Simone Biles doing the like <laughs> twists and like all this shit, like just showing like how easy things were back then. That's so funny. So this that's is li- it. that's literally it. Look, though. look, look. <laughs> just like these. Oh are teams. come on. <laughs> do that <laughs> there's no way that was it it's just a cartwheel on a balance beam you did it i love it we became machines insane uh, yeah that's sick um d- have you seen the tug of war with rowing like you're on you're the boat in the same boat a team on each side, and you're rowing against each other. Oh, oh I didn't even think about that. Like tug of war, not on the ground. Yes, you can do swimming. And there, there's like a line in the center of the boat, and you're just rowing nonstop in cool. the water, oh, wait. trying to gain. That's I've seen that like before that because there's also like a little bit of like a break in it because yeah. you have look to look at it's so crazy. Keith, when's the last time we saw this? Because I've seen this on like TV before, or that's actually cool. I don't know. somewhere. Oh, oh, there's not even a rope. Oh, it's no, no. They just have to. They have to get to the other side. I have a question. When you when tug of war, you know how they always say like heave ho. Yeah, is the heave? (laughs) Is there a difference between the heave and the ho? Is the ho like you have to give it also just a little bit so we can pull it back once more, or is it just all heave? No, no, heaving and ho. When you give the ho, you gotta. (laughs) (laughs) Do you? Do they have to row back or row uh, forward? You're. Pulling. So you want to try to you want to try to move forward just you're, but a little bit just to give it a little. Bit. You're pulling back to move backwards. So you're you're going like this to push away, right? Yeah. And you're trying to get them to come across. Well, the heave and a ho. Uh, but I I think heave ho also doesn't really relate to so much uh, the tug of war. It's more like sailors pulling things on. It's like a heave ho. Like we pull, yeah. grab the next thing. Like so, there's a heave and there's a ho. Heave ho, like that kind of. Alternate. I wonder where that originated from. I think the sailors. But what about like a garden ho? That would be more of a a pull. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so maybe ho so is that, the pull. That's what I'm thinking. Is the no I a ho? Reset. I know that uh, the tool ho. is just called a ho. Right, but I'm sure it would have to do with heave and ho. But what do hoes do? No, you're heave. Know, He's you the ho. <laughs> they could push hmm. and pull. Okay. Yeah. Damn. I've met them both. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at one. You're looking at yeah. one. I kind of have like an interesting story of something I like I read or I saw. Uh I'll there was that. this woman, um, her name was Joy Milne, I think is her name. She uh would smell this stench on This sounds like a riddle. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh she was smelling this odor off of her husband. Like she like couldn't figure out what it was mm-hmm. and it was driving her nuts and she would even get to the point where she would tell her friends when they were around him, "Don't you smell this smell that I'm smelling?" And everyone was like, "No." Was it like a like a fishy smell or a- It was just a stench. Yeah, she didn't like the smell yes. and it was driving her kind of nuts. I think I think I know. And about. then uh a few uh, weeks or months go by and her husband gets diagnosed with Parkinson's. She's devastated. It's yeah. so sad. She then goes to a Parkinson's uh, support meeting with like families and people who are dealing with Parkinson's and she smells it instantly when she walks in the room that she can smell all of these people. Same smell. The same smell she was smelling off her husband. Okay. And she's like, she what the hell? She can detect who has Parkinson's? So she is like, I can smell Parkinson's. And she even goes to uh, a researcher, scientist going, I smell Parkinson's. And they go, yeah, right. Yeah, right. She can only smell it. She was the, so she 
just realized the smell that I was smelling off my husband and no one else could smell. And then finally, when I went into a room with all of these people who have Parkinson's, my husband just got diagnosed Parkinson's. It has okay. to be what I'm smelling. I'm smelling Parkinson's. What happens? So then she goes to researchers saying, I think I can smell Parkinson's. And all these researchers <laughs> like, oh are my like, gosh. we've never heard of that. That doesn't make sense. She goes, please, please, please. I think she had to go multiple times to researchers begging for them to just conduct Let a study her help. Yeah. to see if it was true. So then they do like this blind study. They give her like uh, 12 different shirts of all of these people who have Parkinson's and even also ones of people who don't have Parkinson's. And she was able to go through and smell them and smell them. But she failed on one. They were like, sorry, you smell Parkinson's on this one, but this person doesn't have Parkinson's. 12 weeks later, that they person gets it? diagnosed with Parkinson's. Oh so my So she even detected gosh. it earlier too. So now she was able to contribute her smelling ability to help scientists identify that there is a secretion, I think in our skin oil that uh, they can early detect uh, people who have Parkinson's. That's I wonder, amazing. I wonder if people are trying to make appointments with her, just like a, a drive-by. <laughs> yeah. Yes, just, no. <laughs> what, what's, what sucks about her is that she's only one person. There could be others that can also smell it, but she's the only one that's- that There you know, could be crazy. other people who can smell, smell certain diseases, anything, but they've yeah. never like put- Don't She luckily had is. the connection where if she never went wow. to that support meeting or was around other people with Parkinson's, she wouldn't have made that connection. Wow. Imagine it's, like, imagine- them holding different sort of like uh, ca uh, call outs where it's like, if you think that you can smell a certain disease, please like call our office and like, let's see if we can figure it out or like what you think you can, you smell, take them all, but just, just in case they actually can smell yeah. different. Well, they would also have to know that they have that talent, right? Cause the yeah. only reason she knew is because they went to that thing with all the people around. And if she didn't go to that, she would have just been like, oh, I guess my husband had a, has a weird smell yeah, now. It's tough. And to me, I'm like, what, what's the worst that can happen? She's wrong. Like if she detects it, you go get tested. If it's a yes, it's a yeah. You know what I mean? What's crazy to me is just, you think you have something and you're just going up to scientists being like, I think yeah. I yeah. have right. this gift. Just And it's something me. that doesn't really make sense. I can smell Parkinson's. How would you, like you're saying, you, you're you claiming you can smell somebody that has like a muscular. A very serious disease. But, but, like I can smell cancer. Like, yeah, right. Right, exactly. Yeah, a, that's crazy. If you think about it, how can she actually control contribute in society when it's just her right i feel like the only way she can actually contribute if she's around if she's at a bar and she can smell it that's not her husband it's not and I help them out like she's like a personal she it's not like she's actively doing this as her job she helped parkinson's researchers realize that we can technically oh, yes because uh, what she is smelling i don't know if it's a fungus but it is they are identifying what it is she's smelling. Yeah. And they're able to use that and figure out what it is that's being smelt and through the skin. And yeah. they're able to detect it earlier yeah. on, I think. And it's good also that if they do get that proof, they can also start putting it on like different uh, websites. Like, hey, if you um you might be a person that can smell yeah. this disease on people. If you do smell it, you should like, you know. Kim Kardashian can smell if someone has a cavity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. She goes, she goes next to my mouth. Ooh, oh, mm. Mm. it's a smaller scale, but it's the same thing. Some people have a. She gift. can smell cavities. I just, it's just crazy. I just, I don't know if that's I, really interesting. I'm, I'm worried that I would talk myself out of like thinking I made that connection. Like I was smelling that, and then the whole room smelled like it. Right. I could also see myself being like, nah, maybe I'm just in my head. Like you wouldn't go as far as stupid. calling them and be Matt, like, yeah. never mind, it's. Stupid anyway. Stupid. <laughs> no, it's it's nothing. Excuse me, doctor. Never mind. It just also stupid. like, it stinks. Like, or imagine you were like, you have that connection. Now you have to sit there and just smell just like oh, this I'd terrible smell that you yeah. You have to you like have. clear your palate. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Smelling like a bounty sheet every, <laughs> oh Coffee man. Beans. Coffee beans. <laughs> Your that's that's test. amazing though. Like it's it's cool that they were able to figure out something completely new that some people in the world probably can do what she can. Yeah, that can help. It's like such a classic like superhero yeah. kind of moment. Beautiful. Not all super, superheroes wear capes. Or do you know, know the story of like Henrietta Lacks too? Oprah was in that movie, The Immortal Henry Life. Had what? Henrietta Lacks. It was this Henrietta. Henrietta Lacks. It was a woman in I believe like the third forties, fifties. Um, kind of. I think she was just like this. A poor black woman who went in and uh, did a blood donation, or I can't remember if she had uh, cancer. Yes. So they basically used her cancer cells 
um, were the source of a HeLa cell line, which is the first immortalized human cell line and one of the most important cell lines in medical research. Her cells, hopefully I'm getting this right, were able to like duplicate themselves. Yeah. We use her cells to this day for so many wow. medical oh research. Wow. And the sad story is she imagine? got nothing. Nothing. Really? Wait, she died at 31. Yeah. Yeah, she didn't wow. even get to know the legacy she has, but her family knows about it. There, there's a very successful book about it. There is a movie about it as well. And I think the family does make money from that. But like what the medical advancements have been able to use her cells for, they don't really get oh, a cut. It was, just, it was just her birthday a couple days ago. Happy oh, birthday, damn. Henrietta. Oh. Henrietta Lacks. It's a, a really incredible story. Why don't they teach, why don't they make us read these books in right? school? Right? Yeah. I know. Like, no. this, this is something is we all should crazy. learn. Crazy. Yeah. It, it's just incredible. This one woman just had these magical were, cells. In were her. they able to find this cell and other, like other people since her? Um, I don't think so. No. Wow. We still use her cells to this day because they're just endlessly like that is wild. Yeah, crazy, like super. That is Hopefully I'm getting all that right, but yeah, that's the skin. Some humans are superheroes. Mm -hmm. They truly are. They, they are. They have it instilled us. in them, it's just we don't know. That's so crazy. Like I to me, that's like special powers. Oh, you know yeah. special powers are like, oh, invisibility, or you can fly. No, like these are just our form of special powers that we, yeah. I feel like we can have. Like realistic. Realistic super yeah. uh, special powers. It's so sad because there is like, I think a bit of like racism in it. Because it was like, what, 1951, the 40s when they realized they, they didn't had want this. Yeah. They, didn't, they were like, oh, should we reach out and like tell her like how magical this is? And they were yeah, like, no. Yeah, and yeah. then as people, I think as time went on, they were like, wait, where are these from? This was from somebody and we never acknowledged that they gave one of the biggest contributions to like medical yeah. advancement and research. It's crazy. Yeah, wild story. It's amazing. Well, I literally never heard of this. Thank you for bringing this up. Nope. Yeah, the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks, the, the Oprah. Wow. Well, that that ended on a very good no note. Thank you, Matt, yeah. for the spread the word. Lesson. Yeah, My spread pleasure. the word. That's that. I feel like it's something that a lot of people don't know about. Is this? Yeah. Sorry, I've, I've never, heard, never of heard of this. Well, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into another episode yes. of Zane Heath Unfiltered. Um, make watching. sure to check out next week's episode. We're going to have Hidayah on. Yep. She will be in the house. She's mm. going to be in town. Um, so, yeah, get ready for that. And uh, you can check out these episodes every Monday, audio form, on all the podcast platforms, and every Tuesday, video form on YouTube.com slash Zane and Heath. That's right. And don't forget to check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. We post a bonus episode every single month. We also do a live Q&A every single month. We also keep these cameras rolling and you get an extended cut um, bonus footage of the podcast as well for every episode um, all on patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. You can also do a free trial um, to see if you like it. And and there's a lot binge to as much look content at. as you want. Yeah, honestly, you can binge it and yep. then and then delete the trial. Who knows? All right. Um, love you so much. Someone's screaming outside the door. I think we're done. I think the next show has to come use this room. <laughs> um, thank you so much. We love you and see you next time. Bye. Unwinders, we'll see you now. Love ya.